Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games. You can see all of our arcade games at lionsarcade.com. We are back with another video of a cool, unique, classic arcade game. This one is Atari's APB. APB, of course, stands for All Points Bulletin. This is a really unique game that we got in, fixed up a little bit, been playing it a little bit and thought we would shoot a little video of it because people may have not seen this one. Depending on your age, you may have missed it altogether. This game came out in, I believe, 1987. And it was in Atari's System 2 uh, wheelhouse. I guess the cabinet's a little different on this one, but it was the same kind of board set that they used to make uh, Paperboy and Championship Sprint. You could actually I believe put this in a cabinet in in the uh, System 2 cabinet that Paperboy was in or that Championship Sprint was in. It's a little different because it has the uh, light at the top. The other cabinets didn't have that, but it would probably work. This is a really cool game. Like I said, it's really unique. Apparently, they spent a lot of time developing it, so the game is uh, it's got a lot going on. There's a lot you can do, and it's a it's a really uh, kind of deep game there's not it's it's not it's not a really simple game because there's a lot going on but we'll talk about that here in a minute now on the this is the dedicated cabinet the one that you bought from the uh, factory it would come in this cabinet usually it's got side art on the side it's got a police officer leaning out the window of his cruiser so it makes the whole cabinet look like the uh, the police cruiser but unfortunately this one someone had peeled the side art off of so we cleaned it up, made it look as good as we could. They make reproduction side art for it. Um, so somebody could put that on there if they wanted. A lot of times we don't do that because if we add it, it'll just keep raising the price of the game up. So we try to keep it fairly affordable for people. So. But that is an option. But this cabinet cleaned up really nice. It looks pretty good. It's a very solid cabinet. It's really well designed. That little hole down there, there is a pedal of course and then on the control panel here you've got the Atari's standard uh, steering wheel which was similar to the one on championship sprint it was probably the same exact wheel actually since they were both system 2 titles and then on the control panel you've got two buttons over here a fire button and a, sir a siren button and over here you've got a fire button and a siren button they both do the same thing just on either side so that uh, it can be ambidextrous and uh, in this game you are a rookie police officer and it's your first day on the job and so you've got a uh, police cruiser and uh, you're supposed to be going around giving out tickets now one thing about police officers is a lot of people think that they have a quota they have a certain number of tickets each day that they have to give out well whether or not that's true in this game it is in this game you have to give out a certain number of tickets each day and at the beginning of the day they give you the quota so they started designing this game and they ended up with a lot more time than they thought they were going to have so they just start they just kept adding things to it things that you know they thought of uh, uh, new new things for it and it's a really funny game so there's a lot of kind of off color stuff in it like for instance uh, the way you get extra fuel or extra time is that you drive through the donut shop and you know it's a lot of stuff like that just little uh, Kind of like there's the donut shop right there, <laughs> little tongue and cheek things. But they, as the as they developed the game, they kept thinking of things like that that they could add in, and they would add this, and then they'd add that, and they'd add this, and they'd add that. And so what it, what ended up happening was when the game came out, it's not super complicated, but there's a lot going on. So it it's kind of uh, it wasn't really a game that you could just walk up, put a quarter in, and know exactly what to do right off the right off the bat because there's about ten, twelve things going on at the same time that you need to think about. So. But we'll read the instructions here. You can see this awesome bezel that's on it. You can see the police captain telling you, nice work. Officer Bob. And then there's Juan Fingers here. And there's Hans Oop. And there's Luigi De Mucchio. It says all points bulletin at the top. Over here there is Freddy Freak. I believe that's the first uh, uh, 
uh, all points bulletin that you get. Sid Sniper. And down here, Fake Frank. All right, so the way the game works is, oh, and one thing about the cabinet. These lights up here, they're both on right now. There's a little board down in the bottom of the cabinet that makes those blink whenever you hit the siren button. And whenever you hit the siren button in the game, you turn on the sirens on the top of the car, and it makes those come on too, and they blink back and forth. They wigwag like, the, uh, like on a real police car. There's a little board in there that uh, sometimes uh, there's a couple little transistors that burn up, so we've got to replace that, and we've ordered them, but they haven't came in yet. So right now we've just got them both turned on, but usually in gameplay, those would, whenever the, in the, the car sirens uh, blink, the ones on the cabinet would too. But whenever I film the video of the gameplay, which I'll do in a couple of days after I get the uh, those parts in, I'll, I'll film that just so that you can see that we got it working. And through the magic of YouTube, that'll be here in about five minutes stay tuned so anyway the way the game works we'll read the instructions all right now remember you're on the first day of the job right instructions drive around and arrest violators use the siren so basically if somebody breaks the law while you're driving around through town and it's, it's there's all kinds of room it's kind of like the the early grand theft auto games where you can just go all over the place and it's kind of a top-down view kind of really similar to that so you drive around and if you see somebody do something like the pink cadillac they always litter. So the, the different cars always do the same thing. If you see the pink Cadillac, they're always littering. You can see them throwing their drinks out the door and everything. So what you do is that little crosshair that's in front of you, you pull up behind them and you aim that crosshair at them and then you hit the siren and it turns your siren on. No one will break the law if you just drive around with the siren on because they'll hear it, right? So nobody's going to do something stupid like litter in front of a police officer whenever they can hear it behind them. So you drive around with the siren off and then whenever you see somebody break the law like the, the litter bugs, you pull up behind them and you tap that siren button which turns on the siren. I just started the game I think. And uh, it turns on the siren. Well whenever you do that they'll either resist arrest or they'll say you know hey I'm not guilty I didn't do anything. Or if they did do something they'll pull over. And different ones you have to hit the siren more for. So some of the uh, offenders, you might have to hit the siren two or three times. This is a little test thing. I'll just go through this so that we uh, make it to the police station for bonus. Oh, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Let's go. All all of the artwork and the the sounds and the voiceovers and everything are all pretty funny so basically you have a quota like it just told me my day two quota is I need to catch eight litter bugs right so I need to write eight litter bug tickets so you go through the game and that's what you do so every day you get different quotas so the quota you know might, you know, might be eight litter bugs or on the second you can see them throwing stuff all over the highway can you believe that that's oh, horrible so the, the uh, like on the second or the third day, you start trying to chase uh, taxi cabs that are honking their horn all the time, trying to get business or whatever. So you pull up behind them, and it's the same thing. You hit the siren twice, and they pull over, and then you just wrote them a ticket. Well, after every few days, you get an all-points bulletin. So they tell you, hey, be on the lookout for this guy. And the first one, I believe, is this guy, Freddie Freak. Be on the lookout for this guy, Freddie Freak. And, you know, they tell you what he's done, and he's got an arrest warrant. He's got an arrest warrant out for him. So uh, you uh, you go track down Freddy Freak, and he's got a special van with, you know, paisley flowers on the top of it. You can see the guy complaining. So uh, the uh, you, you try to catch the, the uh, guy with the warrant. So if you catch him, at the end of the day, you take him back into the police station. And the way you, uh, you try to get a confession out of him, so the way you get a confession out of them is you, you tap the fire and the siren buttons as fast as you can back and forth. And basically you're shaking this guy and slapping him around a little bit inside the police station. <laughs> and you only have a few seconds to do this because after a few, you know, 10 seconds or whatever, the police captain comes in. And if he catches you abusing the uh, perp, uh, you get fired or you get demerits. So they have this thing up here called demerits. It's a demerit system. Basically, if you wreck your car into somebody while your siren's off, 
or uh, you falsely arrest somebody or whatever, you get a demerit. Or if you don't meet your quota, you get demerits. Once you get so many demerits, your game's over. So I ran out of time and he was not happy. And so now they're gonna can me. Pull me out of the car, throw me over to this guy. He throws me in a trash can. Horrible. So I'll show you more of it whenever I film the video showing the gameplay, but it's a really cool game, really cool cabinet. Uh, it's really fun, and the, one of the things about it is it's kind of complicated. You know, there's a lot going on that you have to learn, but once you figure all that out and you know how the, the game works, you know what the rules of the game are, uh, you can go through it and uh, really enjoy it. You know, and it's a game that you don't get tired of because there's so much going on. I forgot we didn't read the rest of the instructions. Drive around and arrest violators using the siren. Meet the quota before the clock runs out. Drive through donut shop or look for donut cart for bonus time. Demerits are given for collisions with your siren off and when the quota is not met. Arrest the APBs for maximum points. And you can drive through the speed shop to get high performance equipment. Over here it says your high performance equipment is you can get better brakes. You can get radar. You can get guns. See the fire button, right? You can get higher top speeds, you can get faster acceleration, and you can get armor protection. <laughs> so, again, they added all kinds of stuff into this game. But All right, I'll go get the tripod here in real life. That'll be several days from now. But here on YouTube, it'll be right Ooh, now. It's quicker than I thought. All right, we're back. Just figured I'd show you the what the lights do. This is an attract mode, so it's trying to get you to drop a quarter into it. So it's just... Uh, going crazy as it cycles through the game so I'll show I'll start a game and then it'll show you uh, so they're staying on now so it's saying arrest practice press siren and aim at cone so you can see that they're off and as I hit the siren button they flash you can hear on the on the game it's a uh, you can see they're coming on on the car and also on the cabinet, off on the car, off on the cabinet. And it makes the siren noise too. Well, it did. There we go. Car 54, donut break, out. <laughs> All right, I'll be back in a second with the tripod. All right, we're gonna play through it a little bit. Standard disclaimer, I'm not that good. <laughs> I'm not very good at these. We're going to play it. So, again, you've got a gas pedal. You've got a steering wheel. You've got a fire button. This is how not good I am. I've never got far enough where I needed to use the fire button. Right? <laughs> and you have a siren. So, we'll play through it a little bit. See what we can get accomplished. And we'll try not to knock the camera over while I'm at it. All right. So this is practice. It's like before day one. It says arrest practice. Press siren and aim at the cone. Hit siren if you understand. So, so basically, you're just trying to learn how to arrest. You can't run into somebody without the siren on. Well done. You're not supposed to drive with the siren on because nobody will break the law if the siren's on. So it's to arrest. Aim at litter bug and tap siren until it flashes. Hit siren if you understand. So you'll see these these pink cars will be littering. Scatter littering. So you pull up behind them. Oh, 
suspect off road to arrest but you're supposed to still be giving out tickets for litter littering and stuff too you know hey, you. so he's in a paisley boot <laughs> oh i hit somebody with siren off so i'm looking for a hippie in a van basically Good. Oh, there he is. Oh! There he went. We got to get him. So you ram him off the road. Is that you? How do you, how you apprehend him? If I can catch him. Oh. I would make a bad police officer. Oh, man. Still didn't miss the train. Oh, there he is. Man. Back to the station for a thousand dollar reward. Help, help. If I can figure out how to get back to the station. Car <laughs> don't it break? Out. Okay, okay. So there you go. I'll continue it just so you can see the. You can see the lights up top. Well, if I can. So there you go. All right. Just a quick little video. It's a really cool game. Like I said, it's really tough. I mean, it's just. You really got to go through it. I just played. I've, just, I've only played it a few times. I've never really invested a lot of time in uh, learning all the little nuances. But as the game goes on, you get more and more stuff that you uh, that you learn how to do, and you get more and more uh, you get more and more criminals that you go up against. So there you go. Atari's APB, really cool game. Oh. We will see you on the next video.